Hey you right guys, Trish from Winter's Joe here, and today we are watching and reacting to episode 8 of Dharma Monster, the Jeffrey Dharma story. Uh, it's been a couple of days since I watched episode 7, but that was a really solid episode and we came off an even better episode from that one, so I'm expecting these next three episodes to be maybe not on that level. I don't know, maybe we'll get like the best episode of the season with episode 8, but most people are saying that episode 6 seems to generally be the again best episode hard phrase to use because <laughs> it makes it sound like it was entertaining we all had fun watching it like watching the boys or something but no very different but it um people are saying that is technically the better episode of the entire show so we'll see uh, as these next three episodes obviously we know dharma's where he got caught in episode one but we seem to be catching up more with the uh, present timeline of 1991 so we'll see what kind of happens with him in in the courts i'm assuming uh yeah and this episode's called i forgot but it's, it's the name of jeffrey's dad i believe so i'm assuming we'll get oh if we get his backstory that'd be a bit i don't i don't want his backstory but i don't know why my mind went to that i was like okay we're gonna learn about jeffrey's dad now imagine but uh yeah anyway episode eight if you enjoy remember to leave a like if you're new remember to subscribe and if you do want the early and uncut reactions to dharma and every other show that i do then link to the patreon page will be in the description and one of the comments down below but for now let's do this Ah, uh, picking up from here. <laughs> I will say he's the actor who plays Lionel. I think I saw. Is it Lionel? Yeah, the actor who plays him got better from episode one onwards. <laughs> episode one, I was a bit like, uh, I didn't think he was bad, but I was like, are we gonna get more? And then he got better and better. I think he again, he wasn't even bad in that one. I want to make that clear. <laughs> uh, he's going to see him. Your serial killer son. Still giving him a hug. Guess we're really done at this time, huh? Um, yeah, probably. I'm good with yes. Cause we got. Uh, I gotta. Uh, I gotta. You got what? <laughs> There's no cards up anyone's sleeve here, mate. It's done. Unless you call Saul Goodman. If you get Saul Goodman, maybe. Maybe there's a chance. I didn't realize how sick you were. Mm, you're, you're blind to it. You know, I have to hope you can get better. Uh, we well, can get better, bro, but I don't know if he's going to have enough time for that. <laughs> I've just been trying to think how this all happened. Because I didn't raise you to be like this. Wow, talking about how you reprogrammed frogs to live with acid in their brains probably didn't help, but and talking about worms being like women and how you can have sex with worms, I don't even <laughs> I need to know why. Because there needs to be some responsibility here. What you've done to the family, to Graham, to Sherry and me. And and some other people I think you're missing out there, mate. Do you have any idea how this all started? Again, I'm going with when you were probably trying to beat your wife. No, I guess we never saw him beat, his, beat Jeffrey's mom. Verbally, though, not the nicest. Again, I'm not putting the blame on the dad. Definitely not. He did ask how did it stop, though. Remember when you used to take me to go and find roadkill and I'd cut him up? Oh, no, no. You're not going to lay this on me, no. Yeah. No. <laughs> it's not my fault. I didn't do this. Yeah, you didn't do this. I was a good dad to you. I know. Okay, Dad. You know, I mean, what you did, I didn't teach you how to do that. No. Yeah. You hear me? Okay. It's a tricky one, because it's like, again... I didn't do this. I don't think anyone's putting the blame on the dad, but there are parts that he definitely did that contributed to it i'd say in some way okay again jeffrey made those choices jeffrey did those things 100 percent, and it's no one's fault but jeffrey's but let me talk to you about your son jeffrey how do you feel about the crimes he's been accused of this is donald oh, please leave me alone. Do you know why your son ate people <laughs> do you know why your son ate people oh yeah here's why i'm joyce flint flint <laughs> not dharma the results of your hiv test uh, I want a bit stressed today, then. Negative. You're negative. Boom, my boy. 
It's mad that like you had like, that was like a death sentence pretty much back then. <laughs> yeah, I think everyone could just do a, a cry. You don't have HIV. She's the mum to a serial killer. I'm just so happy you don't have to give your mother any bad news. No, Jeffrey's mum was an ally. We need to talk. I've been cast in a show called Riverdale. You do know that pills are what started this whole thing. You know that. Oh. How, how many pills do you think she was on when she was pregnant with him? Oh, it's the mum's fault. He, basically, he's trying to deflate that it was any of his responsibility. It's like, it's all her. <laughs> Promise. It's her fault. Okay. Well. She got in her car and she drove away and she left that kid in that house all summer. Where were you that summer, Lionel? <laughs> oh, bro. What, oh, God. Oh, no, what, what did bloody mean? I didn't mean that. <laughs> you didn't mean that, though. <laughs> I respect it. He's got my jeans, Sherry. Yo, he needs his trousers, bro. Go get, oh. And I. I'm like, jeans. But I've had thoughts like him, I think. I used to. You bloody what? Use fireworks and I would tie a little army guy to them. And one day I brought a homemade bomb. All right. To school. Wow. And I threw it out the goddamn window, for Christ's sake. You probably should have... Took it home to defuse it, not throw it out the window. I mean, it blows up the building downstairs, which would be the same building, but. <laughs> and I used to sit in church. Yeah. And think what it would be like to kill someone, to murder them. Okay, well, that's fun. And uh, I had nightmares about it for a while, I did. Uh, if he had nightmares about it, then he was taking it pretty seriously. Your son killed people in this house, Mr. Dahmer. You understand that? Oh, you have no no. <laughs> Just shout out as you know I guess. That, right? So the vision, but the call for accountability. <laughs> Dahmer's crimes were committed in a vacuum. Many people, including <laughs> all the white guys in the back, like, turned a blind eye. What? <laughs> we are not content to simply listen to words. I love this guy. Words. Words like healing. Yeah, we don't like the word down, healing. Coming together. Those are all code words that mean exactly the same thing. Let's sweep this under the rug. Ooh. <laughs> Someone like Jeffrey Dahmer to murder 17 young men. Getting Many chills, my boy. He didn't check his identification or his age, you ignored witnesses, you didn't do a background check on Dahmer. We didn't see a need to do a background check on Dahmer. Well, well, no, I'm not, I'm not gonna, not gonna get stressed. Look, the kid looked like an adult, all right? We thought it was a boyfriend-boyfriend thing. Oh, one of, the, one of those, those gays, one of those. Dahmer's neighbor, she claims that she called multiple times about him, but you ignored her request. No, 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 no. This isn't about sides. They're holding their belts like a true American. The community, Jesse Jackson, the whole damn country's breathing down my neck. I have to do something. You're our police chief. You're supposed to have our backs. Wow. I oh, that's fine, mate. You can't fire us, trust me. Oh, that was fine. We will be here long after you. Oh, paid leave. Seriously, my heart. Harrowing stuff. Every yeah, harrowing Jeffrey stuff, Jeffrey. yeah, sure. The man who was almost Jeffrey Dahmer's final victim. A stepmother was like, like a stepmother from hell, screaming at him all the time. What? It's just, it's just all lies. Second wife, Sherry. Oh, he's lies, yeah. And um, sexually molested by his father. Oh, Jesus. I'm not watching this. Oh. Jeffrey Dahmer told Well, that's not true. To say the least. I mean, it might have been, might not seen it. I gotta do something. He seems pretty chill about that. <laughs> it's like, that's not true. Anyway. If <laughs> you fucking raging. Got the cover of Newsweek and People magazine. Of course he is. You think I could take these with me? Just to read? No, you can't. He loves that. He's like, oh, I'm on the front of a magazine. What do they say? Well, what do they say? It's not good. Jeff. They would not do that now, surely. Like, but You're saying you're a Milwaukee cannibal. Magazine. Wisconsin doesn't have the death penalty. Oh, lucky. Well, they're talking about bringing it back, though. Because of me, right? No, 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 Jeff. Just get that out of your head. 
Wait, is that true? Jesus. Look, it doesn't help anybody for you to spend the rest of your life in prison. That's where he's going to be, May. Was... For you to get the help you need so we can understand all this, we have to convince the judge that you're insane, Jeff. <laughs> and you kill people, you cut them up, you had sex with them. He had to stop dismembering so he could masturbate on them. But it wasn't crazy. Oh, Jesus. Just a, a right. I'm so glad they didn't show some of the scenes they could have. They could have shown so much and they just they didn't need to. I'm glad they didn't. Uh, yeah. what, what this guy did, it's, it's just very similar. It was a while ago, back when I was a kid. This so, was in Plainfield. So 80 years November ago. 16, 1957. <laughs> mm -hmm. Her son tells the police that a man by the name of Ed Gein had been there the evening before. Oh, that's just it. Who's Ed Gein? So they go to his house. Is this another killer? Serial killer? So they walk around the back and find a shed. Oh, yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Mary, Mother, and Joseph. And there's the woman's body. What the fuck? All cut up, hanging from the rafters. 30 hours straight, he just sits there. 30 hours. Finally, he pipes up. I'd like an apple pie. <laughs> and a slice of cheese. Not a slice and of he cheese. Starts talking. Balls made out of people's skulls. <laughs> he had what skulls on his bed. I've not even heard of this guy. He upholstered his chairs with human skin. What the fuck? Uh, Who's that guy? I've not even heard of that one. And he went to a, a kind of a daze when he did these things, and then he would kind of wake up, and and he couldn't remember what happened. Did he have sex with the bodies he dug up? I asked the important question. <laughs> Lionel's had enough. The point is, he killed a lot of people too, okay? And there's no denying that. Okay, yeah, what is the point of this? By reason of insanity, and he didn't spend the rest of his life in prison. Where is he then? He spent the rest of his life in a hospital, getting the psychiatric help that he needed. Cool. Sounds fun. I mean, I guess it is better than prison, to be fair. I've read about him. Uh, you know, as a comic book, I read about him, I think. Fucking comic book. I mean, well, now we know where the fault lies. The whole culture. Yeah. Who no, writes a comic oh, book like that? Yeah. yeah. I mean, what are you want to buy? You got the serial killer on a front page in there. Again, nothing's changed. People are entertained by serial killers. They just are. Why do you think these shows like this do so well on Netflix? I think the difference now is, is people don't really idolise them. The victims' families can rest assured that he will be sent to prison. Yes, Judge Graham. Oh, that guy the back's puzzling. Surprised the judge wasn't like, I sympathise with you, Jeffrey Dahmer. You're free to go with one month of prison time. I mean, I wouldn't be bloody surprised America would do what we'd be doing. Not like the UK is any better, don't get me wrong. Or the world. <laughs> so that's it? Huh? You're leaving? Huh? Yeah, I think she wants to be done with it, mate. There she goes. Say your peace. What do you want me to say, Lionel? Well, I would like you to take some responsibility. Lionel, Maybe. Lionel. Bro, Lionel, go home. Go home. Go home. Have a bath. I'm taking the blame for this. Have you read what they've said about me? I mean, yeah, that is kind of wild what they'd be saying about you. But... Cutting up road kill with him in the fucking garage, Lionel! Yeah, dog, yeah, just walk away, Joyce. Just, just like you walked away from your son. <laughs> uh, below the belt. Oh! Fucking take it! Lionel! Uh, Lionel, stop it! Yeah, not the, not the best display there. Bit of a mess. The cops. Again, eyes always on the extras. Because they're more entertaining, trust me. You'll start to do it now. Every time you watch the show, just watch the extras, because they do be trying the most. <laughs> is your daughter Dorothy here, Curtis's mother? She's not. What is it you want, Miss Flint? Well, first, let is me just the victim's say family members? You're apologising to them. Deeply, deeply sorry. Not I'm the best idea, though. Why are you here, Miss Flint? Because maybe she wanted to do something, I don't know. Might be willing to say something in court tomorrow on behalf of Jeff. On behalf of Wait, what? Jeff. What do you want about? That the judge might consider sending him to a mental facility. Bro, you need to go home. You need to go home. You need to have a bath as well. 
My name is Shirley Hughes. Tony. And I'm Tony Hughes's mother. You took my mother's oldest grandchild from her. And for that, I can never forgive you. Mom, I'm gone. I know there's a dragon piercing your heart. They didn't, didn't, give, didn't forgive him. <laughs> Obviously, more than what we expected. Jeffrey, I hate you, motherfucker! I hate you! This is out of control! Don't fuck with me, Jeffrey! I'll kill you, goddammit! Look uh. at me! Look at me, motherfucker! I think. Uh, that's mad. You can see that on YouTube, I believe. If that was accurate. That was mad. I keep, again, I keep getting like Jeffrey stuff on TikTok and uh, YouTube now. There's like some bits like that. Seeing that just happened, I think is on YouTube. I was gonna. I saw it pop up last night. I was like, I'm gonna wait because I, I knew that bit from the trailer as well that that was gonna happen. That I could do, and that was hardly anything. I feel so no, bad for what just I did to off. Sentence serial killer Jeffrey Dahmer to fifteen consecutive life terms. Fifteen prison, consecutive life sentences. Now I've been looking everywhere to find out who's responsible for all this. Um, Blaming everybody except myself. Okay, he's going to take the blame. And it's me. In your fantasies about killing people and stuff, I should have made you feel like you could tell me about that stuff. You know? Uh, it's such a tricky one. When you went to prison, I wrote a letter to the judge. I said, my son needs help, because I knew you did. But I just left it at that, and that wasn't enough. And... Uh, yeah, it probably wasn't enough for that, though, definitely. I'll never forgive myself. Okay, but... I won't leave you again. Uh, I promise. I'll, I'll, I'll make it up to you. I'll, I'll, I'll visit you every week and I'll call. Yeah, I do feel bad for Lionel. There's, it's, again, I've said it like three times, but it's a hard one because it's, there were bits where it's like, you probably didn't, it's more what he said than did. I think like the roadkill things, like whatever, but then like some of the shit he was saying during it, it's like, uh, but he's not to blame for it. I wouldn't say. Words can express the scale of my grief. What are you doing? What are you doing? I try to take respect. Denying I had any part in it is a comfort I can't allow myself because I know it isn't true. That'd be that'd be what it is. It's like they know they're a part of it in some way. And I am no longer willing to live with the guilt of that fact. Did she kill herself? Oh, you know, how did I not know that writing a book is what I should have been doing the whole time? Yeah, I know. I think you I just thunk it. Lionel. Did he actually publish a book? I just got the phone with David. She's okay. Oh. But he said that Joyce tried to kill herself. So she didn't. Oh, she tried and didn't. Back to the book. Strange reaction, I guess. Oh, unbelievable! If I see these two, one more second. Glad for it. to be back on the force. <laughs> the one black cop, like, bro, he knows it's bullshit. And uh, are you getting teary-eyed, bro? It was nice to know that somebody has your back. <laughs> I can't be asked. What a joke. What a joke. Uh, <laughs> there's no way. What happened? Those two cops who let that Connerick boy go back to Jeffrey Dahmer. They've just been reinstated. What? That's a slap on the wrist and that's it? Man. Not even that, mate. The paid leave. They got a little holiday. If I had the next five. And the next five. And the next. And it's still happening now, today. As I said, 2022, bro, nothing's really changed. Little, little bits changed, but not by that much. Yeah. Why? I can't even be asked. This show's annoying me. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, great. Great stuff. But uh, not a very good episode though. That was a that was a hard one. <laughs> Again, I know shocker. It was more when like the families were giving their speeches and then again you can't help but feel like bad for Lionel as well. He was a part of it, 
he contributed towards the monster that was Jeffrey for sure. But him trying to take all the blames, I can't. I can't give you that one. You're not entirely to blame. Um, and the mom was very more so like she knew she was a part of it and couldn't or didn't want to live with that. So she did try to kill herself. But like even he kind of took on the blame at the end. But I guess part of it was always thinking like she knew. Like her not being there for him was a part of it for sure. And then the shit him and Jeffrey got up to is like, yeah, part of it as well. Uh, all on the, so I guess we're all just doing one timeline now. I don't know what they're going to do for another two episodes. So I guess it's just him in prison. And then, like I said, I know he, again, I don't want to say in case people are watching these reactions alongside, but I know how he dies. I'm pretty sure. Um, so I'm assuming we'll see that as well. But I'm intrigued. Very good episode. Another tough another tough watch, of course. <laughs> this is again, I've seen the OJ show, which was very different, and then the, the Versace one. Out of those three, including this one, this one's the hardest to watch for sure. OJ wasn't that hard to watch anyway. That was that was more like a court drama and we didn't see any it wasn't like OJ was a serial killer or anything that we know of. Um, Versace wasn't so much of a serial killer as well, but there were moments in that where it was like, eh, because you knew it was a true story. Whereas this is like, this is just tough. This is just tough. I think... I'm trying to think of other shows I've reacted to that are based on a true story that to like this magnitude, and I don't think there's any that I can think of. I didn't even react to OJ. I just did. I watched that off camera. So the Versace one's the only other one that I can think of. Unless Glee is based on a true story, then I guess Glee was technically very hard to watch for different reasons. So it depends how you look at it. But uh, rating for this episode, I'm going to give this one an eight out of ten. Again, I think these episodes are very well made. Very well made. I want to see this directed. This wasn't directed by Jennifer Lynch this time. Greg Araki. Four episodes of Third Reasons Why. One episode of Riverdale. That's unfortunate, but fair play to you. And a few other things, nothing that I recognise. That American Gigolo with John Barenthal, I've seen pop up a couple of times. He did one episode of that. And then one episode of Dharma. Yeah. Four episodes of Third Reasons Why, really. I'm assuming one per season then, or something like that. But there we go. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to maybe watch episode nine today, I think. We'll see. Uh, but I'll see you next time for then. Until then, take care. Peace.